So I just watched The Witch for the second time. Um, the first time I watched it, I actually really liked it a lot. And I just had to watch it again because of how good it was. Like, But the first time I watched it, I made the joke of like it made me sick to my stomach. And I wanted to throw up the whole time and I never want to watch it again. Which is only partially true. I mean, like, I did want to watch it again. It's a lot to handle. It's a pretty heavy movie. There's a lot of... I'm not I'm not usually too grossed out. I'm not usually unsettled by movies and stuff. And that's why I really like this movie. Because this movie is unsettling. But without even trying to be, like, psycho... It's not even a psychological horror or anything. It just manages to get... It just manages to, like, get in your head and just like settle on your bones in the in a kind of foul way that makes you feel like you need to take a shower and the great thing i like is that the titular witch isn't even the story's not even about the witch yeah a witch shows up spoiler alert some witches show up but it's not about them the story is about this family in new england who is just struggling so it's, it's about it's a story about a family in Puritan, uh, you know, colony era New England trying to just not die or kill each other, fucking going crazy. They're not able to, they don't have any food, they don't have any surprise, supplies practically. They've been exiled by their community. So the whole movie is just them on the ropes. The the baby gets kidnapped at first, and then I guess the mom blames the main the, the main daughter girl Thomason for that, and it basically the whole movie is just this whole family of people hate each other. In fact, this is a great quarantine movie. Being being that I was stuck in the house with my family during quarantine, I mean this movie is is just about every conversation or argument that we had over the course of that whole period but in all seriousness I did really like the main character lady Anna Taylor Joy I thought she was very good I did like the father um, Ralph Innocent William he was very good I really liked what he was doing with his voice especially towards the end when he's like when he's like praying and he's just distraught the scene where he like puts the dirt in his mouth um, Whatever he's doing with his voice during that scene is just fucking brilliant. It's so scratchy and so gruff. It's just, it's amazing. And then, I don't want to spoil this, but at the end, there is a voice. There is some, like, voice work that comes up at the end. That is so, ooh, ooh, man. It's like a low-pitched whisper kind of throaty growl thing not a growl it's it's mm, 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 mm. then that very last scene is just a little bit it's a little bit weird oh before i talk about that last scene the son what's his name what was the son's name caleb i did like Caleb I like the actor who played him even if I didn't really like the character too much um I get that the character is supposed to be like a horny little hormonal bastard but uh it being that this whole movie is about this family and that leaves like only his he's like checking out his sister's fucking boobs constantly and then at the end her mother's all like I saw you casting sluttish looks at him it's like yeah I didn't like that. I didn't like that aspect of the story. Um, that was probably like indicative of the period that this was set in, but still, it was just a little bit unsettling that aspect of the story being included in there. And also, there's a scene where there's a young witch, uh, the, the one of the the one of the witches. Again, spoiler alert is a younger is she she's portrayed by like a younger model lady who was like you know in, in her 20s at the time or whatever um she fucking makes out with the caleb character the little boy who's like 10 or 12 maybe and i don't know if the actors actually kissed each other being that she was an adult and he was a kid, I would hope not. But still, it was just really weird to me. I was like, ah, nee, nee, let's not, hey, let's not have people kissing kids in movies. 
I can't believe I gotta say that, but let's not have adults kiss kids in movies. But yeah, other than that, this is just a this is a really, really damn good, very good movie. I like it, and it's a great Halloween movie. Definitely give it a watch. Anyway, peace.